Hello guys, quick tutorial today. We will recreate those headphones here and we will just create this beautiful leather material with like this kind of texture. Also, yeah, you can see it also here. Yeah, that's like a headphones I've created like with this tutorial from Polygon Pen. So yeah, check that out. Those are just a little bit different. I wanted to show you like mainly again like the lighting because I think headphones and especially this kind of lighting is a very good practice just to understand and how to place the light source and all, and all that stuff. So so yeah, let's uh, start with the materials. Um, yeah, and first of all, I will delete all of the materials and also I have already set up a scene and you can download the headphones uh, second link in the description. Yeah, just bring them into the, your scene, a camera with 80 uh, millimeters focal length and yeah, this is the kind of composition. I also will disable the light and also just a normal HDI, so a normal HDI environment and a texture environment. And the HDI environment, I just put like any HDRI. So we can just start with something to build our materials. And the texture one is again, um, yeah, just an RGB spectrum, just with the gray backgrounds and also a type visible environment. So let's start. And as always, just bring a reference inside so we know what we are doing. And yeah, the materials are really super basic. So let's just start and bring in a glossy material yeah we call it clip let's bring it here to our clip or frame and then yeah bring it back a subdivision surface and just go here to the node editor and make the clip yeah black or almost black yeah something like that and you see we need definitely like roughness so let's make this uh, higher and give it uh, some roughness so yeah we have something like that yeah super simple also, um, let's just control click and uh, duplicate this clip uh, glossy and go into this glossy material and just um, take the roughness down again. So it's again uh, glossy. And here I have on the clip, you will have like the uh, selection or if not just here for those parts here, we want them. Yeah, so something like that. And we don't see like any uh, changes right now because just of our HDI env environment. But yeah, here you see it's just, yeah, looks different. But yeah, later we will just adjust it like always. Also, we can bring our yeah clip material to those ear shell parts because yeah, that should be like the same material exactly. Then also here the shell holder. So yeah, it's very basic. It's, um, yeah. Okay, so now we can start like with the leather material. So if you check here, like we have this kind of texture and yeah, it just looks really cool. And for that kind of stuff, yeah, we could do it like procedural, but yeah, that, that would be yeah not complicated, but I'm using here for this leather material, just the texture from uh, Bridge from Quixel Mega Scans because yeah, it's super fast, super cheap. And yeah, I just uh, typed in like leather and surfaces and then you can just try out like different uh, difference out here. But yeah, the color is like different, but yeah, we don't need the color. So yeah, I just need it for like roughness and the normal map. So I will again create a glossy material um, and call it just leather. And this leather I will just bring here on the butts and like on the thing here on top. And we go into the leather material, make it bigger. And here I have already like here just like a normal map and the roughness map like 2K, like definitely more than enough. Just bring it in and the roughness, bring it in into the roughness and normal into the normal. Then I right click a solo node and I see that looks uh, not right. So what I will just do, create a projection node, connect those to, two, go into the projection mode and make it just box. Because yeah, in that example, I'm not going into UV unwrapping and uh, here it's uh, working perfectly fine. And maybe also a transform node that it looks something like that. And now again, just right click and disable that thing and go into the diffuse and we can just make it black. Yeah, so if I zoom in a little bit, I want it definitely smaller. 
exactly something like that. And now, first of all, we have also like stitches and those stitches, yeah, they're just distracting me. So I just put a clip material onto them. So yeah, they will be anyway, uh, not really seen. And yeah, here we see we have still some yeah, projection problem. So I just go into the material here on Cinema 4D and make the projection on cubic that, uh, yeah, that's looking already a little bit better. But here you also see the material just looks a little bit off and a little bit too rough. So we could go here into the leather material and just bring in a um, octane gradient. And in this octane gradient, just make the white value just a little bit lower so it's not that rough and you see it's already getting a bit dark but also make the black value just a little bit more yeah so it looks like that I just played a little bit around with the HDI but also I think just the normal map is a little bit too strong so let's go into the normal map and make the power maybe 0.5 exactly yeah because yeah, this ladder otherwise would be just like too strong going out, maybe even less, so 0.3. And yeah, something like that, maybe 0.4, but yeah, we can adjust that later. Let's check out, yeah, if the top is okay, but yeah, the top is okay. So yeah, that looks like that. I think that's really cool. And then just here in the middle part, I just want like a normal fabric material. It, it could be like literally anything. So I also have a um, selection here. So just the inner part. And for that inner part again, uh, yeah, I create this time a diffuse material and just call it fabric. I bring it on that. And in this material, if we go inside, I make it again just very dark gray. And now we just need an absolute um, normal fabric texture. So also again from Quixel. Yeah, like 4K, but we don't need even 4K. And here again, we just bring the normal into the normal and the roughness into the roughness. And if we check here, yeah, exactly. So something like that. And yeah, that will be like really, really supple and not even seen right now. But yeah, so let's continue. So now let's continue with the lighting. And <laughs> yeah, that HDI already, you might think that looks good. But no, it does not look good because yeah, we don't have any accents. We don't have, yeah, it's, it looks already okay, but we, yeah, we just want it much better with our own lighting and also practice, right? So we go to our HDI here and just bring it down. And again, we just zoom out here by pressing F2 and we create first of all, just a, a null object. And yeah, this null object, I will just bring in for now here to the middle so we have so we can create an octane targeted area light and if we open again our reference yeah we just want to see what's happening and here we see we have like some kind of a, a light source on the bottom so let's just bring this light here on the bottom and make it just a little bit yeah bigger and bring it a little bit more back because I just want a few highlights on the bottom and also again we go to our camera camera imager and make the highlight compression just here almost to one and now we go to our first light here and just make it yeah not so bright exactly so something like that already and yeah you can just play around a little bit how much you want of the light but yeah I want yeah exactly you see like we have this nice curvature and here you see like this lines they, they go like up and I think that looks really cool so now let's try to create this kind of light here on the right side so again just null object octane targeted area light and we bring the slide yeah, you see somewhere here, maybe it should be exactly, but definitely we have to make it. Yeah. Also what we could do, just create the fall off. So maybe we could gain a little bit nicer of effect. So we go to distribution cinema for the octane fall off map. And now we have to go into the fall off map and 
make it here 90 degrees. Yeah, maybe even something like that would be cool, but yeah, we don't want so much brightness. So yeah, I just bring that here, make it a little bit more squarish and yeah, just bring it in a little bit. And here we see like also our clip metal thing here. Um, yeah, it needs to be a metal. So because our HDI is black, but our glossy material is like kind of plastic, you know, so we just need the octane material, uh, metallic material. And I just apply it here on the stuff and then it should get black exactly. And that looks already much um, better, I think, in my opinion. And again, just bring that light source that we've just created just a little bit more back. So our highlight is not so strong here. So cool. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, then what we need is like kind of a key light. So we brighten everything kind of up in 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 the front left here, but not too much. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Again, now create an octane targeted area light and make just the slide a little bit brighter and bring the slide yeah, with yeah, 90 degree angle to our camera. So we have here some nice reflections and yeah, also here on the top. And also I just wanted to adjust the gradient of the leather. So to make it a little bit more dark and a little bit more glossy, right? So like this kind of yeah, glossy leather. And I think that looks already pretty cool. And now what we are just missing are some nice highlights. So if you see here and like this edge, because now it's like going just from gray into gray. And also definitely like this one here on the left, because yeah, we don't have any nice highlights here. So like some rim lights basically. And that's always cool just to bring some light sources to the back of the headphones or of the object. So again, maybe we can even disable all of the light so we can only focus on the new light source. And this light source, first of all, I want to make it a little bit yeah, longer and also go to the light source and opacity to zero so we don't see it here in the viewport. And here again, bring the brightness down so we have something like that then activate all the other light and you see we just get a nice highlight here and yeah we're also lighting up here on the top a little bit but that's not such a big problem and now let's just try to recreate the same here on the right side so i just control click and copy that light and bring here on the right side and with this light we also get here on the pets a little bit more of light. I think that's good and even here a reflection. And again, that's a, just a quick tutorial here. So yeah, something like that again, just on the right behind it. So yeah, something like that. <laughs> that's basically it. Yeah, just a very quick tutorial because yeah, that was like in my portfolio from some time ago and I just wanted to make a quick short tutorial on that. So, so yeah, maybe someone of you find it helpful and yeah, it's just practice because I also practice a lot of that kind of stuff. So yeah, let me know in the comments if what to create, what tutorials I should do, what you want to know, business freelancing mindsets and all that stuff. Really write it down in the comments and yeah, see you in the next one.